friends so today we're going to talk about rules of engagement so what are the rules of engagements for you to finally get those sales especially on social media we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about general rules of engagement what do I mean by rules of engagement right I mean it sounds like a, a war or something right or a movie maybe because there is a maybe more than one but I know there is one movie called rules of engagement and that's not what we're going to be talking about we're not going to talk about you know capture and 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 defeat and uh and and pushing everybody over the edge and 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 winning a war right that's not what we're talking about we're going to talk about engagement on social media online how you get that to to grow so that you can actually grow your audience so that you eventually get those sales because you know that's all we all we want right we're building a an online course we're building a community we're building a business online we want those sales right so we want those sales and it happens when there's a growth in your fan base and to do that you need to get engagement going and so how do you get engagement going and we're going to show you that and we'll do that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so what do I mean by rules of engagement so what I mean by rules of engagement is that on social media if you're trying to well let's back up a little bit if you're trying to build a business online if you're trying to build a business online you're going to be using social media right and if you're not using social media well why not because you really should be and it's not that big of an, uh, an amount of time and if you can't do it yourself because you're building a business you don't have time to to go on social media which which does take time but if you can't focus on that then you can always hire somebody to do it now I'm not I'm not saying I'm I'm available for that because that's something that I don't actually do but I do know lots of people that do it if you ever want a recommendation or whatever certainly you can ask me I can try to find somebody for you but the point is that if you don't do engagement on on social media you're not going to get any kind of connection you're not going to get any kind of results engagement is the number one thing that makes things happen on social media and that's just how it is and so let me just uh well let, let me just yeah let me just show you some, some the the well let me show you my screen and so that you can see a little bit about what I'm talking about we're going to start with Facebook right so Facebook is one of the platforms that really really is strong on engagement and you you see people posting things I'm just going through the timeline right here right I see stuff on Facebook and it's just it's just whatever right there's a bunch of stuff on Facebook that um you you might be interested in you might not be interested in so how does it work how does how does engagement cause you to grow your business um well if you just think about it if you go on you know on offline if you go in, in in trade shows or in any kind of business related um environments right where you're meeting people well how do you get people to to know what your product's about how do you get people to know who you are or whether they want to do business with you how do you get you know all those things they all happen because they will uh, get to know you right and that's why we talk about online when we're talking about building a business we're trying to sell a course and by the way if you're if you're listening to the audio um if you're listening to the audio you got to go to cis237.jsgagnon.com cis237.jsgagnon.com to go and check out the full video or on the uh, blog post um and yeah so you know here's here's the thing so if you don't want to grow your audience then you don't have to worry about engagement because you know you can just post things you can do some ads you can you can spend money you can do all sorts of different things um <coughs> but you know if you're trying to sell a course if you're trying to build a business online and you you're going to want to grow your fans you're going to want to grow I mean there's there's three people that really are doing a really good job let me uh actually let me find the other one I want to find well actually first of all I'm going to talk to you about a couple of people that are really really doing a great job 
um, at doing that and the thing the thing that you got to do there's a few things you got to do first you got to figure out who your audience is what are they interested in and that's all part of my I got my 12-step ebook if you go to my blog you're going to see the 12 step uh, to your critical success ebook that's there for free basically there's a 12 steps of how to grow your you know how to get the success online right so the first thing you got to do one of the first things you got to do is figure out who your audience is figure out who your avatar is figure out what you're selling all these different things and and if you're if you're not sure about any of that just go get that right but the thing is that once you know that once you know what who is your audience what are they interested in what are you trying to sell right you got to be really focused on that and create content around that like David Vidalis here is right he's got a course to actually create courses right so it's one of the things that he does there's a couple of them out there that that do that and he is he's got this group on Facebook right online course secrets and it's the you know course creators community right six thousand members in there right so he really did a good job of growing a group growing it and then he's posting content like this all the time like this here right and he basically asks questions and this is one of the th one of the secrets to building engagement is to post content that asks people questions you want to ask them but also you want to ask them questions that your audience is interested in there's no sense asking questions about uh you know uh, uh what what uh, color shoes do you like to wear when you're going out in the evenings right because unless of course you're trying to sell uh you know how to choose the colors of your clothes how to dress more you know better or whatever right but the thing is that in this case he does course creation he does a course on course creation so he's asking questions like you know what do you think is the best way to research your students needs if I go to if I go back to just Facebook just my if I go to my my profile right if I go to my profile uh we can see that I'm not getting a lot of engagement right two comments here I got uh three comments here I did get 25 people you know liking it um then I got a video here that I got no comments at all right I got another one of the, my episodes that I shared no comments um another episode I shared no comments another picture I shared here 10 comments that's pretty good but not that much um two comments here um you know 13 comments here so I'm not getting a lot of engagement right and the reason I'm not getting a lot of engagement there's a couple of reasons first I'm not engaging on other people's stuff right now we're talking about Facebook here it's it's very similar on LinkedIn on Twitter on Instagram any other platform where the rules of engagement right the rules of engagement on social media are basically you engage so that the platform shares your stuff so that's why you get you know you post something like <laughs> like this for example I post this 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 I share this video right from my course income secrets and I get no engagement I get no comments no nothing it's not it's not because it's crappy content uh, although it could be right but the main the main reason is because nobody sees it nobody sees my this this particular content nobody sees this share they don't see it because Facebook doesn't show it to them why doesn't Facebook show it to them because Facebook will show it if I do the engagement on other people's stuff it'll show my thing on the other people's news feed if I'm engaging enough on other people's stuff so that's the rules of engagement the rule of engagement is you get engagement on your stuff if you're engaging on other people's stuff it's a reciprocity thing right we talk about that in lots of other episodes <clears throat> and reciprocity is is the is the rule is how it works reciprocity on social media basically means that no matter what you do if you don't if you don't if you want something to be done for you you have to do it for them <clears throat> so if I want a people to uh, and th and this is the thing if we're talking about Facebook for example right if I want people to comment on my family stuff well I should be commenting on other people's family stuff Facebook has kind of can tell whether the pic their pictures of family or whether they're business pictures or whether they're sunsets or whether they're you know um whether they're uh 
the pictures of plants or whether the pictures of buildings I'm in it, it can kind of tell that so if you're en engaging a lot on other people's stuff that has to do with a certain thing then whenever you post something about that it'll share that because you're engaging on that kind of stuff so if I'm engaging on 3d photos if I'm engaging on videos if I want people to engage well here's the, here's what I'm trying to say if I want people to engage on my 3d photos I want to be, I need to be engaging on other people's 3d photos so that's what that means when I go through the timeline <coughs> and that's the thing if I don't engage on 3d photos normally I'm not going to see 3d photos in my timeline much right <clears throat> I'm just going to see whatever I normally engage on and this is kind of how it works so if you want to change what you're seeing in your timeline you actually have to go directly to people's profiles if I go say for example to Candace's profile here I can go to her profile and I can look through her stuff and if she's posting like say she's posting this right here right a, a picture of her with some text right an inspiration right I can en engage on this whoops I should have hold on I got a mouse over there uh and I say this is this is so true <clears throat> and then that's it I just come in that now there there's a video here that she's uh, she's posted I'm gonna like it and then uh there's a picture here of eating food you know being with people a before and after of a cleanup I guess a bedroom storage empty guest and then there's another picture here of her with her avatar well the Facebook avatar that's not avatar in the sense of marketing but you know that's kind of how it and then the other thing is you can you can navigate to other people's profiles just by looking at at their friends especially friends you're friends with right if I go to Anthony's uh, page right if I just click on him there I end up on his page right on his profile on his content right so he's got he's got a video I already like that uh, another video here I've been kind of already uh, commenting on his stuff uh and that's you know he posts he mostly posts these uh videos or images that he shares through his timeline right so that's what he does if I go to um Lisa Torres whoops no, Lisa Torres <coughs> Lisa Torres is a is a big uh, marketer as well <coughs> and she posts regularly too right she's posting about her results here uh it doesn't normally post it and I'll just say wow is amazing right I'm just gonna engage and that's the thing if you the rules of engagement is you gotta engage so that people see your stuff it's not it's not because people won't engage on your stuff based on whether it's good or not it's because the social media platform doesn't even show it to people so you, like as you see this stuff here that was not in my timeline I was scrolling through my timeline none of this none of Lisa Torres's stuff came up right so I mean I yelled cow to lady on the bike and she gave me the middle finger her bike straight into the cow oh <laughs> lol so that's uh, funny I'm gonna, just gonna laugh so that's a joke right uh poor little poor woman eh poor woman that uh, ran into a bike into a cow anyways so that's and that's the thing so that stuff won't now that I've commented and liked a few things I can probably like a few things here I like some more you know love some more so now what happens is that because I've engaged on a few things I might start seeing Lisa's com content in my timeline and that allows me to see the stuff that I really want to be engaging on because the content type that the that the people that I want to connect with are posting is going to be what I want to see so if I go back here's the thing David Vidal as I was telling you about earlier is doing a really good job with his his, his uh his uh his a uh, course and his online group his Facebook group and that's one of the things that you want to be doing if you want to grow your business online you want to get a uh, lots of fans a group is a really good way to do it and if we look at his group right uh no that's not the one this one here if we look at his group right here you can see that he's posting like he he's posting uh let's say what he posts that's other people see there's lots of other people posting in his group right and that's one of the things that you'll get as you grow your group now he's got a lot of people in his group and he's seeing a lot he's uh, posting a lot but as you can see there's just a few well he's geez I didn't realize I was actually not looking at that but there you go he's got his post right here he's got 29 comments 
on this one post why does he have 29 comments on that one post because he's engaging on other people's stuff he's going to comment on the people that post in the group right he's going to comment on other things on Facebook and if I look through and I go through again here's another one that he posted right he's got 160 comments in in this he's talking about building a community that's just exactly what I'm talking about how do you grow your you know your how what's the rules of engagement well grow your audience through a community through a group you can do that on Facebook you can do that on LinkedIn and other platforms and um uh, let's see now so um so th these are all people that are posting in the group here's his post again 17 comments that's not as much but still uh it was at 3 a.m on the third I don't he's actually in Europe I believe uh celebration Sunday he got 16 comments on here uh at what point should you get a virtual assistant 13 comments so he's posting questions right <clears throat> he's posting regularly questions and the other thing too is that he's using a, a common look to his posts all of them as you can see they're all looking kind of like that they all kind of have a uh this is the welcome promo Friday see it's a picture and then he's got like darker color and then he's got text with different colors he's using always the same colors right so that's another thing that's important is to keep the look the same so people know that it's your stuff right if I scroll through here see some more is there any more of his posts <clears throat> uh, there will be uh if I can get the screen to light that look at that that's me I, I promoted my thing that was a promo Friday he does that that's the other thing if you're doing a group you want to have days where you do a specific thing and people will get to know what that is right they'll know that like in this group on Friday it's promo Friday he calls it promo Friday and all he asks is that you put promo Friday in the in the uh, hashtag promo Friday at the top of the post so the people know that that's what about but as you can see I posted and nobody you know nobody commented but that's not because they didn't like it they just didn't see it why didn't they see it because I'm not doing the job that I'm telling you to do I'm not doing the engagement if I was to comment and engage on all these or lots of them regularly in this group and which I should be doing that means that whenever I post something in there it's going to be seen by others Facebook's going to share it to other people right okay so the other group is a Dem, Dem, Demelza Demelza Marie Demelza I'm not sure if that's her first name or last name but <clears throat> she posts in a group called online course creators using video and she has the same kind of um content she's not getting as much engagement I think maybe she's not as active I'm not really sure I would have to I have never talked to her in person but as you can see she posts the same thing it's not it's not the same it's not a, it's not the same as what David does but it is always the same look it's she's got a picture in the background and then she's got <laughs> this white uh with a, a kind of orangey reddish uh text with an orangey reddish square in the background too and it's always the same she's always using the same colors the same fonts um this is her her um uh <clears throat> this is her profile but if I go to the group you can see the same thing she's got 10 comments on this she's got well she doesn't have any comments on this one I probably but that's the thing like I said she's not as a active I think probably that's probably what's going on she's not doing the engagement thing that's why she's not getting as many comments on her posts you know uh and you know I could probably how do you avoid sounding salesy don't try to sell instead ask questions and be interested in them right that's how you do avoid sounding salesy right let's do another uh I'm gonna like a few of these things uh that's interesting that this one is not oh turned off commenting okay that's because she does it share it Saturday see she doesn't she wants this to be so that you can share on Saturday and actually that's not a bad idea you turn off the comments after a few after the day's over right uh and then uh gorgeous beach sand right so you just post a few things that grows the list of engagement for me if I post something in this group and uh, do you think there is a perceived acceptable price range for courses 
uh, no it all depends on your audience your content content and their perceived perceived value of what you teach and how you appear knowledgeable how do you spell that? that's not how you spell it knowledgeable nope not with a w i know but it's not a right knowledgeable okay there you go <sighs> there okay so anyways that's one of the things right you got engaged so that you get engagement the rules of engagement are you engage so that you get your stuff seen by other profile if I go to LinkedIn it's pretty much the same thing if I go to LinkedIn right and we look at my feed on LinkedIn right now you see Gary Wainerchuk right he's right there he's got 2600 comments that's insane right um and then there's these 54 comments you got these um how do you define success if I look at my timeline actually I have a hashtag right I have a hashtag that lets me uh let's see if I just go to my profile my post and activity and I go to I go to um my posts right so if I go to my posts I can see the posts that I posted you can see there's no there's 21 views here there's 14 views there's no comments there's 8 15 views that, that's kind of cool that on uh, LinkedIn you can actually see the views of all your your actual content from your from your you know profile uh there's nothing here nothing here nothing here nothing here these are uh, shares of I share because what I do is I share see I shared inline network here there's no indication of whether anybody saw that in here there's one like right here right it's, uh Tamara right thank you Tamara appreciate that uh and as you can see I don't have a lot of you know I have 89 views of this in the feed course income secrets my birthday to gift now reason why <laughs> that's kind of funny because that's an automated post it's not my birthday but because it because it's a shared post that's automated from my um I don't know if you can tell how it got shared there but it probably shared from my social jukebox and if I look at the comments people are commenting happy birthday right they're saying happy birthday uh belated you know happy birthday that's uh, that's awesome and that's why I got more views I got 89 views because people engaged on my content right because they engage the platform will show it more right and as you can see my content is not being seen that much I got 15,300 followers and <laughs> connections about the same I guess it's it's probably the same number for connections and that and the thing is that I have a hashtag I use a hashtag in all my all my content do I have it on here no not in here but on this one I do I have a hashtag ask Sean search if I click on that it'll show me all the posts with that hashtag right and you know I got this post here that 43 comments wow I didn't even really realize that uh, I should have uh, commented on wow look at that oh that's just an old uh no that's kind of weird all oh, right that's something that I posted before I don't know why it's shown up at the top of this I guess when you search for your hashtag it'll show you the stuff based on I don't know what based on I've never really but anyways this is one here that I had lots of comments on because it was um it was a a collaboration we had posting uh with these different uh, the people that are part of the same uh, group and then this is another one that I did you know, look at that Christmas right there was a Christmas there's only one I don't know why it's there in the list it's 10 months old nine months old right here happy new year this one here is grateful Sunday maybe it's based on when I started this uh, hashtag thing I don't know anyways so that's kind of one of the things you can do you can have your content with a hashtag if you uh, I use this all the time right uh, no right here I use this in most of my posts I just use the same exact thing all the time and that means that this hashtag is there in all of my posts on LinkedIn so you can search for everything just by going to the hashtag you can actually give people this link right you can give people this link well let's move it down a bit 
this link here right you can give them this link and that will take them to your LinkedIn so instead of using your LinkedIn um uh profile you could probably use this link as your LinkedIn profile if you wanted right actually that's not a bad idea I might do that but um so that's like I said it's the same thing no matter what platform I mean if I go to if I go to my Instagram platform Instagram it's the same exact thing if I if I let, let's go back here to the main while LinkedIn is loyal while Instagram is loading if I go through here you can see that these these people have got you know if I just like some of these things right uh hey LinkedIn opt-in I wanted to share if you're starting or restarting I would love for you to join us see the link comments to apply huh what's the comment what's this just nothing I appreciate the uh, keep this in mind trust me I would love to. interesting interesting hey so now this is a quote over here <coughs> always great quotes from you at Shebang. whoops and now I post this right so this is the same thing you do engagement you go through your timeline and you engage and for those for those that you know for those that you don't really you don't it's the same thing you can actually go and look at somebody like this for example right I can actually go here and I can go here and I can look at their connections the 900 connections and then I can go and find you know the person I want to go I'm just going to go to Rick Weaver here see what he's got does he did he post anything I can go into their activity where is it activity uh, skills recommendation accomplishments uh, where's the activity sorry activities up here activity I want to see their activity so whatever they uh, did they post anything there there's something they're posted I'm just going to like some of their posts that's kind of like on Facebook right you can kind of do that <coughs> so true right I just do that I don't even know who this I don't even know who Rick Weaver is <laughs> I, but as you can see he's active right so and that's that's kind of how you the engagement on LinkedIn is not much different than Facebook if you if you engage on other people's stuff you're going to start to see their you're they're going to start to well other people are going to start to see your stuff it's not necessarily the people you engage with right those are the rules of engagement if I go to Instagram it's not much different if I scroll through the timeline if I like and a comment accept what is let go what was and I'm just going to say well I guess you can't can you oh you can comment on, on great great quote and I'm just going to post that right I didn't even realize you could I I don't know this must be new but if I go back to the feed right I can just scroll down here find something that you know is worthy of a comment worthy of a like I mean I and if I go to my my profile <laughs> if I go to my profile what's this uh, Amsterdam I like this I go here into my profile you're going to see the same kind of thing like my content isn't that uh, you know um like I mean it's not that if I click on this that's uh that's a video right that's a video from one of my courses I like it myself and there's no other comments right if I go to the next one that's another video next one is a, a, a picture and there's no comments but there are there are eight likes right uh not that much like I said the number of engagement you get will be proportional to how active you are on on uh, social media right on here this this sunset or sunrise that was a sunrise um was liked by 10 11 people right and it's the same thing you go through your you go through your uh your your fans or maybe you you know and you know you you look at what you who's who are you following who's following you right these people that are following me right all these people are following me that I'm not following back and I've I kind of stopped following everybody that follows me on link on Instagram um because so many of them are just like these fake uh you know sex things or whatever right from all these fake accounts that are just trying to get you to you know go do whatever right <laughs> so I don't know if you're following me on link on Instagram and I haven't followed you back just message me because <laughs> because I don't know 
there's so many of them that are fake I can't tell the difference right I have to, I would have to go to every single one of these and click them and see whether they're real or not uh, I mean some of them are kind of obvious I suppose right but some of them aren't necessarily right and but yeah so send me a message anyways so that's the rules of engagement engage on other people's stuff so that the platform will set your stuff so you can grow your audience and then eventually so how do you make the sale how do you make that sale well the sale will come as people get to know you so that they get to like you and they eventually trust you and that's when they, they they'll buy from you it's not an instant thing it doesn't take two seconds for people to like you and know you they have to be following you they have to be engaging they have to be you know seeing you and for them to see you all the time you have to be there on their timeline for you to be there on their timeline you have to be engaging other people's stuff that's how you grow that's how you get that sale all right so we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time